Welcome back guys, this is another HT special, this one's just for my sysadmins. So, if you're like me, a sysadmin in a global corporation, Microsoft just dropped storylines in Teams and I immediately saw it and said hell no. They gave us no warning, barely any documentation and before the office politics kick in, I knew I had to shut it down fast. So I dug in deep and now I'll be showing you exactly how to turn this crap off. So buckle up, turn up those speakers. Let's go. Go, go, go! This video is intended for educational and informational purposes only. All actions demonstrated are conducted in a controlled, safe environment by trained professionals or with proper authorization. This content complies with YouTube's community guidelines and does not promote or encourage illegal, harmful, or dangerous activities. Viewer discretion is so, advised. What is Storylines? So Storyline is essentially Microsoft's tapped uh, Facebook replacement or trying to be Facebook within that ecosystem, introduced by Viva Engage, formerly Yammer, design function to have like personal news feeds similar to LinkedIn and Facebook within this ecosystem, allows users to post stuff. They can follow, like, and comment on stuff like social media posts, and it shows up in their Viva Engage in Teams and it's literally pinned against Teams and that's just not gonna work for me. All right, first things first, you need to be a Teams global admin to even touch this policy and remove it globally. So make sure you have those permissions first. Next, you wanna go into the Teams admin center. You wanna go into settings and policies. And then after that, you wanna scroll down all the way to messaging. Once we're in messaging, you wanna go all the way down and then find this Viva Engage Experience in Teams. Turn that crap off. Now this starts the blocking storyline access from the team side, but we're not done yet. It's also sitting in another location. So bear with me. Next, what you wanna do is go into settings back in the admin center and go to Viva. Once you're on Viva, you go into Viva Engage and then manage additional Viva settings in Viva Engage. This will by default launch the application within Teams. Now, when Teams opens up again, it'll be on the right hand side, this feature management section. So once you click into that, you see this storyline tab, you click on that. And then here where it says enable storyline, disable that crap there. Now you have to give it a few hours to fully roll out across the organization, but boom, storyline is gone globally across your net. Now, if this saved you time from yet another patch Tuesday or feature rollout that you didn't sign up for, give this video a like, drop a comment. Maybe someone knows some PowerShell commands even to, to do this in the back end fully, but I wasn't able to find that feature that actually worked. And make sure you subscribe for more non-fluff Microsoft fixes. Keep teams under your control. Keep ahead of the chaos and curve. Stay safe in the cyberspace. Peace out.